Welcome to the challenge. Tonight, two schools will be put to the test. Who's going to ace this one? We'll find out. Hello, I'm Jared Cotter. Let's meet our scholastic students from New Jersey. First, the Red Hawks from Parsippany High School. Mike McVeigh, senior. John Patricola, senior, captain. Alice Zoe, senior. James Devanzo, senior. And that's Parsippany in the house. Alice and the boys are here. Welcome. Okay, let's meet their challengers, the Rams from the Wardlaw Hartridge School. Sumit Prasad, senior. Kimberly Sun, senior, captain. Ashni Mehta, senior. Daniel Moran, senior. And that's Wardlaw Hartridge. All right, welcome to both teams. Good luck to both teams. Let's also say hi to our audience. What's going on, everybody? Okay, we're all here and ready to go. Let's get started. Each team begins with 100 points. Round one is multiple choice, and questions are worth five points each. The categories for round one are U.S. states, settings of musicals, animal babies, and what's the angle? Okay, teams, let's see if you're ready for the challenge. Our first question comes from U.S. states. Which of the following states is not part of the four corners? A, Nevada, B, Colorado, or C, Arizona? Daniel. A, Nevada. Yes, that's correct. All right, Danny starts us off right. You control the board. Let's continue with states, please. Okay. In which state is the Fort Apache Indian Reservation found? A, Oklahoma, B, Arizona, or C, New Mexico? Daniel again. A, Oklahoma. That's incorrect. Parsippany captain. C, C New Mexico. B, Arizona C, is the correct Arizona. answer. Let's go to settings of musicals. Which of the following musicals does not take place during ancient times? A, a funny thing happened on the way to the forum. B, Jesus Christ Superstar. Or C, The Secret Garden. James. C, The Secret Garden. Yes, that's correct. To tie it at 105. Yeah. Jimmy, you control the board. Um, let's go to U.S. states. Okay. In which state would you find Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory? A, California, B, Tennessee, or C, New Mexico? James. A, California. Two in a row for James. You control the board. Uh, stick with states. Okay. Which home state of Barry Goldwater voted for him in the 1964 presidential election? A, Nevada, B, Colorado, or C, Arizona? Mike. C, Arizona. Yes, that's oh, correct. Oh, Good run here for Parsippany. Mike, you control the board. Uh, let's stay with states. Okay, for the last question in U.S. states. In which state would you find the going to the sun road? A, Kansas, B, Wyoming, or C, Montana? James. A, Kansas. Incorrect. Ward Law, Hartridge, Captain. Uh, B, Wyoming. C, Montana is the correct answer. Let's go to settings of musicals. Which of the following musicals takes place at a school called Shiz University? A, Wicked, B, Pippin, or C, Candide? Ashni. Uh, a, Wicked. Yes, that's correct. Okay, Ashni, where are we going? Um, musicals, please. Sure. Which of the following musicals is set in Berlin during the 1930s? A, Cabaret. B, Mame, or C, The Sound of Music? Daniel. C, The Sound of Music? Incorrect. Parsippany Captain? Uh, B. Uh, B, Mame. A, Cabaret is the correct answer. Let's go to animal babies. What do zoologists call the immature offspring of frogs? A, nymphs, B, tadpoles, or C, hatchlings? John. B, tadpoles? Yes, that's correct. Tadpoles. All right, John, where are we going? Uh, let's stick with animal babies. Okay. The word gosling identifies the young of what animal? A, goose, B, goshawk, or C, grouse? James. A, goose. Yes, that's correct. Goose. All right, James. Where do you want to go now? Um, stick with uh, animal babies. Okay. Which of these terms would apply only to the offspring of a swan? A, chicks. B, cygnets, or C, pults? Daniel. B, cygnets. Yes, that's correct, cygnets. Good job, Danny. Let's go to, uh, continue with animal babies. Okay. What are young oysters called? A, clues, B, spats, 
or C, Sounders? James. Uh, B, Spets? Yes, that's correct. Spets. Okay, James. Uh, stick with animal babies. Sure, for the last question. In animal babies, what would a marine biologist call newly hatched salmon that are still attached to their yolk sacs? A, alevins, B, blinkers, or C, gilts? Daniel. B, blinkers. Incorrect. Parsippany Captain. Uh, a, alevins. That's the correct oh, answer, yeah. yes. Alevins. Okay, John, where are we going? We have two categories left. Settings of musicals or what's the angle? Um, let's go to settings of musicals. Okay. Which of the following musicals is not set on the same continent as the other two? A, Oklahoma, B, Evita, or C, Annie? Ashni. Uh, B, Evita. Yes, that's correct, Evita. Okay, Ashni. Uh, musicals? Okay, sure, for the last <laughs> question, in settings of musicals. Which of the following musicals takes place in and around Washington, D.C.? A, Damn Yankees, B, 1776, or C, Ragtime? Daniel. C, Ragtime? Incorrect. Parsippany Captain. Uh, A, Damn Yankees. That's the correct answer, yes. Okay, let's move over to what's the angle. For which of these angles is the sine value negative? A, 165 degrees, B, 175 degrees, or C, 185 degrees? Mike. C, 185 degrees. Yes, that's correct, 185. All right, Michael, we're going to stay in what's the angle. What is the degree measure of the vertex angle of an isosceles triangle with a base angle of 67 degrees? Is it A, 36, B, 46, or C, 56? James. B, 46. Yes, that's correct. Okay, still in what's the angle? When is it true that a scalene triangle can also be obtuse? A, always, B, sometimes, or C, never? Uh, Mike. B, sometimes. Yes, that's correct. B, sometimes. Okay, still in what's the angle? What is the positive difference between the degree measures of the supplement and complement of the same acute angle? A, 90, B, 180, or C, 270? Kimberly. A, 90. Yes, that's correct. Okay, Wardlaw Hartridge, still in what's the angle? What is the ratio of the smaller leg to the hypotenuse of a triangle whose angles have degree measures 30, 60, and 90? A, 1 to 2, B, 1 to 3, or C, 2 to 3? Kimberly. A, 1 to 2. Yes, that's correct. Two in a row, just at the end of the multiple choice round. Our score is Parsippany 155, Wardlaw Hartridge 130. Stay tuned, because after the break, it's our 60 second lightning round. Don't go away. MSG Varsity brings you wrestling updates that are on the mark, wrestling coverage that's on the spot, and wrestling excitement on the mat. Join host Greg Sara and wrestling insiders for top flight analysis as they bring you every takedown, every escape, and every pin. And get the most up-to-date information on the best matches in the tri-state. Be there for the latest in high school wrestling. On the mat with Greg Sarah, Tuesday at 7.30, only on MSG Varsity. Sundays are meant for nothing. Worrying about your TV, phone, and internet, well, that's something. We'd like to keep nothing separate from something. That's why Optimum offers after hours and Sunday installation and service, as well as live, local, 24-7 customer support. That's service when and where you need it. So something never gets in the way of anything. There's only one thing these competitors aren't prepared for. Losing. Czechoslovakia. Greater than 45 degrees. George S. Patton. You kill a mockingbird. H.G. Wells. Angle B, C, D. Incorrect. B, angle B. That's the correct answer, angle B. Play along and go head to head with the best and brightest in the tri-state. Dispersive medium. That's the correct answer. In the ultimate competition for high school scholars. Are you ready? Take the challenge. The challenge, Sunday through Friday at 6.30 p.m. Only on MSG Varsity. 
Monday at 4 p.m. at the 4 o'clock spot. Long Island, catch an action-packed Nassau County showdown when Kerry battles Herricks. Hudson Valley, Connecticut, Westchester girls go to the hoop when Dobbs Ferry tangles with Ardsley. New Jersey, Garden State rivals meet again as Don Bosco tips off against Bergen Catholic. And in New York City, don't miss a PSAL shootout between Midwood and Murray Bertram. The most basketball coverage. That means the most to you and your community. Monday at 4 p.m. at the 4 o'clock spot. Only on MSG Varsity. Welcome back to the challenge. Do not forget you can watch us six nights a week from Sunday through Friday on MSG Varsity. It's time for our lightning round and here's how we play. Each team has 60 seconds to answer 10 questions with each question being worth five points. Our categories are renamed nations and tech product names. Wardlaw Hartridge comes into the lightning round with 130 points. You get to choose first. Uh, tech product names, please. All right, sure. Tech product names. I'll provide the names of several brands' versions of the same electronic device. You tell me what kind of electronic device that is. 60 seconds on the clock, please. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. iPhone, Blackberry, Galaxy. Smartphone. Smartphone, TomTom, Tom, Garmin, Magellan. GPS. Correct. Zoom, Zen, MP3 iPod. Player. MP3. Player. Player. Correct. Nook, Kindle, Kobo. E-reader. E-reader. E Correct. MacBook. Thinkpad, Laptop. idea pad. Laptop. Correct. iMac, Optiplex, Pavilion. Desktop. 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 Correct. Aquos, Vizio, Viera. TV. TV. Correct. Thinkpad, iPad, Galaxy Note. Tablet. Tablet. Correct. Beats, Skull Candy, Grado. Earphones. Headphones. Correct. Cybershot, Cool Picks, Power Shot. Camera. Digital cameras. Yes, that is correct. Well done. Nine right for 45 more points. Good job, guys. All right, let's go to Parsippany. Your category is Renamed Nations. I'll provide a country's former name. You tell me what it's called today. Right. 60 seconds on the clock, please. Are you ready? I am ready. All right, here we go. Campuchia until 1979. No, no, that as well. You know, pass. Cambodia, French Sudan until 1960. You know, French Sudan. Algeria. Uh, Algeria. 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 Mali. Mali. Gilbert Islands until 1979. Easter Island. Easter Islands. Kiribati. Ceylon until 1972. We're going to pass. Sri Lanka. Siam until 1949. Myanmar. No. Myanmar. Thailand. Oh, right. Rhodesia yeah. until 1979. We're going to pass. Zimbabwe. Dutch East Indies until 1945. Bahamas. 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 Indonesia. <laughs> Upper Peru until 1825. Panama. Panama. Bolivia. Jesus. Gold Coast until 1957. Cold Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast. Ghana. All right. Zero right, but it's okay. We still have two more rounds left. All right, guys. Stay tuned for more of the challenge. We'll be back right after this. Visit the challenge at msgvarsity.com for full episodes, team profiles, schedules, and more. High School Sports Desk brings you four days of sports-specific coverage dedicated to your school and region. Monday, action-packed boys' hoops attack the rim. Tuesday, catch hard check and hockey and all your favorite winter sports. Wednesday, the gym will be rocking with great girls' basketball. And Thursday, hit the mat for pressure-packed wrestling plus high-five plays of the week. Get the latest scores and most compelling stories that matter most to you and your community. High School Sports Desk, Monday through Thursday at 7 p.m.
Welcome back. If you missed any part of the challenge and you're an IO Digital subscriber, you can always catch this week's program on demand by going to channel 614. Select TV shows, then choose the challenge. Now during the break, we had a revision of the score. The score is now Parsippany 155, Wardlaw Hartridge 180. We're in round three, and questions are worth 10 points each. Randomly placed in each category is a bonus question worth an additional 10 points. The categories for round three are known as John, literary dystopias, formulas in physics, and also known as. Our first question comes from known as John. Who, along with Thomas Hobbes, is considered one of the fathers of classical liberalism based on his 17th century writings? Kimberly. John Locke. Yes, that's correct. John Locke. Well done, Kim. You show the board. Um, I guess formulas in physics, please. Sure. According to the physics formula, average speed multiplied by time is equal to what quantity? James. Acceleration. Incorrect. Wardlaw Hartridge, Captain. Distance? Yes, that's correct. Distance. All right, pulled it out at the end there. All right, Kimberly, uh, again, it's on Continue with you. formulas in physics, please. Sure. According to the physics formula, one half an object's mass multiplied by its speed squared is equal to what quantity? James. Kinetic energy. Yes, that's correct. Well done. Where are we going? Um, stay with formulas in physics. Okay. According to the physics formula, the reciprocal of the wave frequency is equal to what wave quantity? James. Wavelength. Judges. Wave. Incorrect. Oh. Wardlow Hartridge, Captain. Uh, isn't that the speed of light? No. Wave period is the correct answer. Let's go to also known as. Answer this correctly and earn a bonus question. What is the official name of Obamacare? John. PPACA. Judges. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Wardlaw Hartridge, Captain. Uh, the, Affordable. the Affordable Care Act. Also incorrect. It is the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, but I have to take your first answer. I'm sorry, we're looking for the whole thing. Let's go to known as John. Which abolitionist led an unsuccessful raid on the Federal Armory at Harper's Ferry in 1859? John. John Brown. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> John Brown. Brown. He knows his John. All right, John. Uh, let's stick with known as John. Okay, answer this correctly and earn a bonus question. Which American comedian and actor played opposite Dan Aykroyd in The Blues Brothers? James. John Belushi. Yes, that's correct. John Belushi. And here's your bonus question, Parsippany. Serving as a congressman from Ohio since 1991, he is the 61st Speaker of the House of Representatives. John Boehner. Yes, that's him. <laughs> okay, John, you control the board. You guys want to go with? Uh, let's go with literary dystopias. Sure. What novel by George Orwell is set in Oceania, where society is tyrannized by the party and its totalitarian ideology? Kimberly. 1984. Yes, that's correct. 1984. Mm -hmm. All right, Kimberly. Um, let's continue with literary dystopias, please. Okay, answer this correctly and earn a bonus question. What novel by Ray Bradbury presents a future American society where books are outlawed and burned by firemen? Sumit. Fahrenheit 451. Yes, that's correct, Sumit. Good job. And here is a bonus question for your team. What satirical novel by Anthony Burgess was adapted for film by Stanley Kubrick and chronicles the horrific crime spree of a gang led by a charismatic sociopath named Alex? Clockwork Orange. Yes, that's correct. Clockwork Orange. Ten more points to Wardlow Hartridge and Kimberly Control Board. Uh, literary dystopias, please. Okay. What writer, known for his detective stories, also wrote a novel called The Lost World, concerning an expedition into the Amazon where the explorers find prehistoric animals? Sumit. Um. Out of time. Parsippany, Captain. Uh, Michael Crichton. Michael Crichton? Incorrect. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle is the oh. correct answer. Let's go to formulas in physics. Answer this correctly and earn a bonus question. According to the physics formulas, force multiplied by time and the change in linear momentum are both equal to what quantity? Ashni. Uh, impulse. Yes, that's correct. Here's a bonus question. 
According to the physics formula, the change in charge divided by time is equal to what quantity? Uh, current. Uh, current. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Current. A little help from Ashley there. Good teamwork. Okay, Kimberly, you control the board. Uh, formulas in physics, if there's any left? Sure, there's one left. According to the physics formula, the magnitude of the frictional force is equal to the coefficient of friction multiplied by what force? Mike. The normal force. Yes, that's correct. Normal force. And that's the end of round three. Don't forget to check out the challenge on Facebook. Search MSG Varsity and be sure to visit the challenge tab. We're going to take a short break, but we'll be back with the complete 180 round. Stay right there. Gridiron with MSG Varsity at the Football Files. That is it for the score! Join high school football insiders Jimmy Cavallo and Steve Levy and get the latest hard-hitting information with special previews, the latest on off-season recruiting, top players to watch, insights and interviews. Stay connected to all things football in the Tri-State. Check in to the Football Files next, only on MSG Varsity. The biggest games in high school sports play here at MSG Varsity. And now you can access the action with mobile access. Download the MSG Varsity app for all the latest game highlights, scores, photos, and top stories right in the palm of your hand. Create customized settings filled with your favorite sports from your school and community. Now MSG Varsity goes wherever you go. Go to mobile access and download our app today at MSGVarsity.com. Monday night on MSG Varsity Primetime on Long Island, Freeport battles Farmingdale in must-see boys hoops. Hudson Valley, Connecticut, Westchester rivals go to the rack when Pelham Memorial takes on East Chester. New Jersey, wrestling stars square off when DePaul and Pascack Valley meet in Garden State action. And in New York City, Brooklyn powers collide when South Shore battles boys and girls in a big PSAL shootout. The best games, exclusive to your region and community. Monday night at 7.30 p.m. only on MSG Varsity Primetime basketball season every Tuesday night on a quick 60. You'll see the top players to watch, breakdowns of the top schools in the tri-state with our weekly top 20. Region by region, player by player, boys and girls players of the week, and of course, put a face on it! Plus, it wouldn't be a quick 60 without hearing from you. So join me for a quick 60 on basketball. Whoa! It's gonna be a slam dunk. A quick 60 on basketball, Tuesdays at 8 p.m. on MSG Varsity. Welcome back. Now, during the break, we had a revision of the score. The score is now Parsippany 215 and Wardlaw Hartridge 250. It's time to do a complete 180. There's still 180 points up for grabs. We have four categories, each containing three questions worth 10, 15, and then 20 points. Good luck, teams. Let's play the complete 180. Our categories are politics, theater, sports, and astronomy. The first question is open to both teams, but please remember to use your buzzers. For 10 points from politics. In 2012, the Republican Party announced that what former Secretary of State would speak at the Republican National Convention? Mike. Condoleezza Rice. That's correct, 15 point question. Condoleezza Rice was the second woman to serve as US Secretary of State. Who was the first? Out of time, Wardlaw Hartridge, Captain. Hillary Clinton. Madeline Albright is the correct answer. To theater we go, 10 point question, open to both teams. In 2012, the University of Oxford began raising funds to make first editions of what playwright's work available online? Daniel. William Shakespeare. That is correct, 15 point question. What is the name of Shakespeare's tragic play about the Moor of Venice? The Merchant of Venice. Incorrect. Parsippany Captain. Othello. That is the correct answer. 20 point question. What is the name of the outdoor theater in New York City's Central Park and site of the annual Shakespeare in the Park Summer Series? The Golden, the Golden Globe. Incorrect. Wardlaw Hartridge Captain. The Delacourt Theater is the correct answer. To sports we go. 10 point question. Open to both teams. 
In 2012, a U.S. federal appeals court ruled that colleges and universities cannot count what activity as a sport when trying to comply with gender equity requirements. Mike. Cheerleading? That is correct. 15-point question. What name is used to refer to the part of U.S. federal law that prohibits sex discrimination in educational institutions, including collegiate athletics? Oh, Title IX? Yes, that is correct. 20-point question. You took the lead with that one, Parsippany. The federal court ruling came after Quinnipiac University replaced what sport in which two teams of six players each face off against each other with competitive cheerleading? Uh, volleyball? Yes, that's correct. To astronomy we go. This is the final category. Ten-point question, open to both teams. In 2012, NASA researchers discovered a relatively close, possibly magma-covered planet that is about two-thirds the size of what largest terrestrial planet in our solar system? Alice. Earth? Yes, that's correct. 15-point question. According to NASA, this newly discovered exoplanet is about 33 of what large-scale distant units from the Earth? Uh, light years? Yes, that's correct. 20-point question. NASA astronomers discovered the small, hot exoplanet with the Spitzer Space Telescope, which is used for observations in what invisible region of the electromagnetic spectrum? Radio. Uh, radio. Radio? Incorrect. Wardlaw Hartridge, Captain. Infrared is the correct answer. That's the end of the round and the end of our game. Our final score is Parsippany 310 and Wardlaw Hartridge 260. Well done to both teams, but congratulations to Parsippany High School. They are our winners tonight and will advance to round two. Thanks so much for watching at home. Be sure to check out msgvarsity.com for schedules and photos. I'm Jared Cotter, and we'll see you next time on The Challenge when Long Island's Village School of Great Neck takes on Syosset High School for academic bragging rights. I'll see you there.